Hello everyone, um, good to see you. My name is um, Niels Smith Peterson um, and I work as a project manager right here in Aarhus, right in this building actually. Um, it's uh, under the, the Department of Culture of uh, Citizen Service um, in, a, in a section called ITK in which we, in, in which way we uh, do a lot of project development, uh, graphical design, uh, etc. And basically, servicing a lot of the, the departments in, in the city of Arms. Uh, but project development is, is a major part of, of, of uh, this uh, this department's work. Um, today, uh, I'm going to talk about. Um, yeah, how open source changed the Danish library sector. Um, and it's um, attached to this project or initiative called TIC, uh, which has had a profound effect on, on how the Danish library sector has evolved uh, when it's when it, uh, concerned about. Uh, how you develop um, IT projects and, and how you, you think about the, the whole mindset uh, about doing uh, development. Um, yeah, and just to let you know, I'm not going to talk very much about LibreOffice, almost nothing at all, just to let you know. <laughs> so don't, don't expect anything in that sense. Um, even though, of course, there are some coherence and some aspects of it that's, that's uh, related to, to LibreOffice, uh, some projects, for example. Let's go ahead. Oops. Just terminate it. Yeah, as I just said, uh, a bit about me, um, working right here in this building, a uh, new building, um, and in, in relation to this team project, I've been, uh, you can call me community manager for, for this team open source community since 2011, um, where it really started to, to kick off. Um, also project manager on some other uh, smaller projects. And, uh, but uh, usually open source projects um, like BeagleOS, which is I'm going to talk a bit about later on. And um, yeah, I, st I still consider myself as relatively uh, new in this open source land, as I call it. And I really like um, the, the principles and the core value that's, that's, that lies behind uh, uh, open source. And um, it's, it's Really, it's really meant a lot uh, to me in, in, in how I see uh, the whole, how you develop and how you initiate uh, IT projects. Um, but I still consider myself relatively new. And today's talk. Um, first off, some background. Uh, something was run in the state of Denmark. Uh, Kind of one. <laughs> um, then uh, a bit about um, how how we cope with this uh, um, these challenges that we could see uh, at that time, um, and what what we needed instead of this, uh, and, and the vision to support it. Um, and then I'll talk about what we actually created, the results that uh, came out of this thing project um, and uh, also how we did it of course um, what was the major uh, reasons how, how we could do it um, and if I can this time I'll talk a bit about what's next and status um, back in 2008 uh, the situation 
the Danish library sector was, um, yeah, this photo is actually a symbol of how the, uh, the situation was in, in, uh, in relation to the infrastructure that the, the libraries uh, were using, uh, the IT infrastructure, and, but also actually the uh, uh, mindset that was, uh, uh, that was uh, characteristic characteristic uh, at that time um, and uh, let me just uh, show a bit on that uh, a bit more. Um, at that time uh, the libraries uh, had some a few challenges uh, and uh, one of those challenges uh, were uh, related to their websites um, that at that time uh, uh, all the libraries in Denmark, and we have a lot, uh, were using very different CMS uh, systems. And um, that meant that small libraries, smaller municipalities used a lot of resources developing those websites and also maintaining them. And um, that, that really meant a lot for, for those, especially the smaller libraries, uh, in, in the sense of of uh, having a website that supported uh, dissemination and how to reach uh, the end users. Um, another issue that was uh, present at that time, uh, and still is in a sense, uh, is that uh, the digital concept that was becoming more and more uh, important for, for the end users uh, versus physical concept books, etc. Um, they, they were bought through uh, all these different vendors and constant suppliers and um, in that sense there was a high de dependency uh, towards these vendors uh, because there was no uh, way the libraries could integrate um, this content to their own websites. So that meant when a uh, user uh, wanted to uh, read some digital content, uh, whatever it could be, they had to go to the vendor website um, and search for it there. Um, so basically that meant when a user uh, did a search on a library website, it was only the physical uh, materials, resources that were shown in, in the result, but not uh, digital content. Uh, which the libraries had, had bought access to. Uh, and that was not good. <laughs> uh, not very user friendly and, and uh, not, not how the libraries uh, really wanted to, to, um, to uh, give the end user a, a good uh, experience. Um, yeah. And um, another thing that was um, we saw at that time was that the libraries also had a tendency to, to focus on their own uh, IT projects. Um, they didn't uh, do much in, in collaborating or trying to reach out to other uh, libraries to, to, to build something together, uh, to, to initiate uh, IT projects that could support uh, not only themselves but more uh, libraries. Um, so there was uh, these challenges at that time, and, um, and that was um, something that uh, a few uh, visionary and, and uh, wise men uh, saw an opportunity to, to turn around. And, we'll get into that. and uh, it started <laughs> uh, in a plane from Singapore to. Uh, to Denmark, um, where two uh, uh, leaders in the Danish library sector, one from uh, uh, Aarhus, uh, the public libraries of Aarhus, and, and another one from Copenhagen, they had a few drinks and uh, talked about how they could uh, cope with this, these challenges that I've just uh, uh, talked to you about. And um, they had a good talk. And uh, they sat down and said to themselves, what if we did something about this? Um, 
And um, that, the, one of those things that they talked about was we want to take back control. We don't want all these different vendors uh, um, um, controlling how we show our resources, how we develop our websites. We want to take back control, define our needs so they actually um, and develop our website so they actually support uh, what we want to, to do and want, what we want to give our end users. Um, and, and how um, we should do this uh, was um, inspired by how the open source projects um, uh, were, were developed, were developed um, and, and they saw these values that uh, is so uh, char characteristic of open source development, uh, like uh, cooperation, sharing, and uh, yeah, collaboration, that those values fitted so well into this um, into the, the, this um, um, initiative and, and how they could cope with, with these challenges. Um, and another thing they talked about, what if we stop doing things for our own good uh, and only to open up our organizations, minds and solutions for all other, not only in the library sector, uh, but also more, more uh, widely. Um, and last but not least, very importantly, uh, what if we <coughs> build a totally new infrastructure that gives the libraries uh, the ability to use and show the concept that they both the books, the physical uh, concept and the digital concept, um, the, the ability to, to use and show them everywhere on all sorts of devices and all sorts of uh, interactive um, um, yeah, devices. Um, that was basically um, one. Uh, was the beginning of this um, this team concept and, and how it was then formulated, formulated in, in more concrete um, uh, goals. So they said, let's go, let's do it. And they hooked up with um, another uh, important uh, uh, initiative, uh, initiator uh, called DBC, which is uh, uh, a public funded vendor who, who already at that time was um, support, uh, su supporting the library sector by the infrastructure um, um, uh, yeah, at that time. Um, and, and they uh, talked to Aarhus and Copenhagen and agreed upon we could do something about this. It's, it's actually possible if we uh, uh, together try to, to set a new uh, initiative and, and do something about it. Um, so, what, did we, what do we actually need? Or what did we need? Um, as I mentioned earlier, we, need, we, need, we needed this common infrastructure that all libraries uh, could use um, and that could give the ability to, uh, to use uh, Concept and to show it everywhere on all sorts of devices. One major aspect of it. Uh, another thing was that uh, we needed to share content, uh, not only in, in, in uh, the libraries in, in a single municipality, but also across municipalities uh, and across uh, libraries uh, nationwide. <coughs> And another thing, of course, was this uh, open source mindset and the values uh, that, that lies in it, uh, specifically about collaboration and how this can generate innovation and, and uh, in the end share uh, the, the results that, um, that, that, that come out of, of this, um, this uh, collaboration. Uh, and also what we needed was this supply vendor control wanted to take back the control and, and uh, to a higher degree to control how we 
uh, define the projects, and how we develop them, and how we uh, develop them further. Um, that was a, a major issue. Um, also, what, what was important was to support competition, to invite all sorts of uh, partners to, to participate in this uh, think concept, in this think community. Um, so therefore, it was important to 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 build this community. Uh, so so all uh, both uh, private ven vendors and uh, public uh, uh, partners could join and, and see themselves uh, as a as a as a, yeah, as a credible uh, uh, member of this community, um, and that they. There was actually some value um, in this uh, communi community, um, and of course, in the end, uh, the goal was to uh, have better websites uh, for the end users, um, more cost effective. Basically, um, we, we the, the belief was that yeah, if we collaborate and build a common infrastructure, uh, in the end, it will uh, be more cost effective cost effective for all of us um, and also give us better websites and services. Um, and the name was, uh, as I mentioned earlier, called Ching Concept. Later on the concept was thrown away <laughs> um, when it was a success. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, supported by this vision of an open ecosystem for corporate innovation, collaboration, and sharing of results in the digital society. Very nice. Um, and that was the, the future we saw in this uh, vision. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, one major aspect of this uh, Tink concept, Tink community, uh, was uh, uh, building an entire new infrastructure that should uh, support uh, the libraries. And um, this uh, diagram is the most technical thing I'm going to show in this session, just to let you know. Uh, <coughs> um, but, but this diagram basically shows how uh, they thought of this um, infrastructure um, that was going to be the foundation for, for, uh, for libraries uh, ahead. Uh, we have uh, <coughs> all these um, content suppliers, uh, vendors, libraries, all sorts of, uh, of uh, content uh, over here. And they were then uh, harvesting uh, that content and index indexing it in a big uh, data repository um, and creating relations um, uh, across those data. And uh, that, that data repository was uh, then the basis for all um, uh, all the uh, uh, user interfaces uh, interfaces that was uh, going to be built upon uh, this data repository, and, and that should make it that should uh, make it possible for all sorts of uh, uh, interfaces. Um, presented for, for the end users. Um, so that's very uh, basic uh, how, how they saw the new infrastructure and how they should build it. Uh, and DBC, as I mentioned earlier, uh, who, who was this public um, uh, vendor, public fun funded vendor, uh, was going to build this uh, infrastructure and, and, uh, and, uh, and yeah, uh, do that uh, in the in the beginning. Um, so, on top of this uh, new uh, SOA infrastructure, um, it was uh, a national infrastructure, as as I mentioned earlier, uh, for all libraries. Um, that was one of the the, the major. Uh, uh, Goals of, of this Ting initiative, and, uh, and of course, based on, on uh, open source web services, 
So all those uh, web, so the web services that were were used in this sense were published as, as open source and everyone could use those web services and build something else on top of them. <coughs> um, yeah, a national data repository, um, as I said, harvesting, indexing, indexing relating and distributing uh, metadata, um, which could be used for all uh, libraries in, in Denmark. <coughs> um, on top of this, um, to cope with this challenge I mentioned earlier uh, about the library websites, uh, not very user friendly uh, towards the end user, and, and um, specifically about how, um, in terms of when, when you search for resources, both physical and digital. Um, the libraries were not uh, happy with how, how it was how it, uh, it was done at that time on those websites. <coughs> so uh, this CMS, new CMS that was developed in, in the community, um, was uh, aimed at supporting um, this search functionality um, um, and, and giving the user a real good experience. Um, doing a search on, on library websites. And one important feature about this uh, website, of course, was that now they not only show uh, physical books in the search results, but also digital content, um, which was not the case early on. And that was a major step for, for the libraries. <clears throat> and the reason why, also why we, we they choose to, to build this uh, new CMS uh, and uh, publish it for free so libraries could use it and, and, and build upon it was that uh, basically all libraries uh, have the, the same needs uh, uh, in Denmark so why not uh, uh, build it uh, together and, and but still uh, be open for local uh, development and, and differences. So it was it was still flexible enough for, for uh, the local libraries to, to do something else about the, the user interface, but the, the core was was uh, was the same. Um, a mobile theme was uh, developed at, uh, as well in the beginning and later on uh, there was a specific app uh, made for, for smartphones that uh, used this data repository as well and, uh, and, and basically were, were built on can you call it the same model as the, the, the website um, it was um, a standard uh, app that all libraries then could, uh, could, could use and put their own colors and uh, logos stuff in and and, uh, and, and uh, give it to, to uh, the users in, in the, the municipalities and libraries. Um, yeah, and, and a lot of other national web services uh, and sites were eventually um, developed and launched, uh, also using uh, the, the whole infrastructure and, and the data repository. Um, I mentioned earlier. Um, just to show a few of uh, uh, the library websites, this is the newest version, version 2, um, which is um, um, uh, yeah, the one that's being used right now. And currently this um, uh, version is actually um, being used by more than 70 municipalities uh, or libraries in, in Denmark um, so it's it's a, a really big thing um, as you can see they, they are all similar but with some smaller uh, differences um, as I mentioned earlier the core is the same but it still opens open up opens up for, for local um, <laughs> development it's uh, I haven't mentioned it it's Drupal based um, and um, you see, this is Aarhus, uh, their website, and Copenhagen. So 
slightly different. And another uh, site uh, that was uh, uh, launched uh, a few years back using uh, the same infrastructure and the same digital repository was this site uh, that uh, <coughs> gives uh, where the end users can, can uh, uh, lend uh, e-books and audiobooks um, in, 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 in one site and um, that site also uh, uses uh, uh, the infrastructure and that's also being uh, uh, used by all libraries in Denmark. They have the, the same site uh, they, they can use for this. Another site uh, aimed at uh, children uh, also built this uh, infrastructure uh, and also uh, searching into this uh, data repository. Um, just another example of what has been created uh, on top of this uh, new infrastructure. And uh, the more long-term results, uh, back in, in 2011, when I uh, started working uh, in Ting, I think we were maybe 20 uh, libraries and municipalities involved in the Tink community and that quickly rose to yeah, 50 um, um, within the next few years um, and that covered almost 70% of, uh, of Denmark's population. Um, uh, we were, it was a really uh, fantastic period to be in this project at that time because it just kept evolving and getting bigger and bigger um, and uh, at the same time we also had these vendor partners that were involved in, in the tank uh, community um, and they also participated in, in uh, yeah, initiating new projects and uh, uh, collaborating with uh, library partners uh, on ideas and, and stuff like that. Uh, another major thing was uh, back in 2013 when uh, TIG was evaluated by uh, the Danish Agency for Libraries and Media uh, and uh, at that time uh, the DIN CMS was chosen to be uh, the foundation for uh, the Danish Digital Library which is uh, uh, Something that's uh, yeah, it's a collaboration between uh, a local government Denmark, which is uh, an organization that uh, support the interest of all municipalities in Denmark and and the Ministry of, of Culture, um, and this uh, the Danish Digital Library wants wanted to to um, uh, use this uh, thing, CMS, as, as um, one of those uh, services they, that they wanted to give uh, the libraries as a, as a package. Um, not only the CMS, but a lot of other um, services. Um, and um, that decision uh, also had a pretty profound effect on the Tink community afterwards. Um, because um, that meant that uh, the whole uh, um, development, uh, the, the, the whole uh, the further development was, was partly uh, taken into uh, 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 a more bureaucratic organization and that was uh, something that uh, we talked a lot about and, uh, and how, uh, if it was anything we, we actually were fond of <laughs> uh, because we, we were afraid that it would stop the passion and the enthusiasm in, in the Tink community. Um, but still there were some advantages because uh, they had more money, they could uh, um, uh, continue to put money in the further development and, and, uh, and uh, uh, the quality of, of uh, the whole thing. Um, another uh, long-term result that we uh, 
began that began to show in, in, the, in the library sector uh, after a few years was just a completely new uh, way of, uh, of of thinking, uh, you know, new developing new IT projects and and how we should collaborate um, between libraries, vendors, uh, yeah, all uh, who, who had an interest in, in, in these uh, projects. Um, it was really profound, and we could see it when we, uh, in, in the community, um, did events and activities. We could see that all uh, the participants had a completely new view of how of how uh, we should do this, and, and they uh, suddenly could see the potential in, in this uh, in this way of thinking. Um, so. Um, it basically meant that a completely new mindset was was uh, uh, emerged uh, and, and, and spreading in, in the library sector, um, and, and we still have that today, partly. Um, oops, there's something there, but that I think the last uh, thing was that um, we saw a, a completely new. Uh, um, innovation um, that um, coming out of this community uh, suddenly there was a lot of new projects that uh, were uh, uh, um, that were founded on, on the concept and the principles uh, in open source and, um, and they came out everywhere in, in all sorts of, uh, of uh, libraries and, and uh, all sorts of ideas so it was uh, an exciting time. Uh, a lot of new projects were initiated. Um, yeah. 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 Yes, um, um, a few other uh, derived projects. Um, library produced content, um, which uh, is another open source project, which supports uh, the idea I mentioned in the beginning about sharing content between libraries. This project um, is about um, employees at the libraries uh, writing articles and stuff like that, and then putting them in one big database and sharing them across libraries so other libraries can use uh, those uh, articles on their websites. Um, BBOS, a uh, project that all I was uh, managing, uh, was about uh, putting open source and all public uh, library computers. Um, you can see it if you go out and use uh, library computers right here, uh, which was uh, basically an open source um, uh, desktop system uh, and applications. Um, Ubuntu was chosen, and uh, also uh, the, the, the possibility to to uh, uh, remote management this, uh, these public computers. Uh, Another thing, uh, Info Channel, uh, open source platform for showing content on large screens. You can see that as well if you uh, look at the screens in, in the library. Uh, was so, uh, which is uh, basically uh, a new open source community that uh, uh, sprung up a, f a few years back, and they were greatly inspired by it. Uh, but their focus was uh, on a higher level. On municipality level. In the, in the beginning they wanted to, to uh, create a website uh, for, for the municipalities but it has since uh, uh, spread it and they're fo focusing on, on other things as well. Uh, yeah, Open Data Ops, um, also a, a big project in Aarhus that has uh, uh, derived from this whole uh, open source uh, mindset in, how we do things in, in Aarhus. Um, okay, I'll finish up. Um, yeah. Can I? Okay. Um, some of the major things that, that actually made it possible to, to do this was uh, strong leadership. Those guys that in the beginning had this idea and wanted to do it, 
were really passionate people and uh, they were in a position where they could actually do it. And that meant a lot for this project. Um, front movers, uh, the bigger libraries like Aarhus and Copenhagen, Copenhagen meant a lot uh, uh, about this project. Um, they, they took the lead uh, knowingly that uh, it would in the end benefit uh, the smaller ones. So it was, uh, that was an important thing too. Uh, of course this uh, openness, collaboration and sharing, um, uh, the whole value, uh, all the values in, 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 the, in the open source uh, thing was, was very important as well. In, in how we <coughs> employed the, the, the idea of an ecosystem. Um, of course we were inspired by other open source communities and, and uh, uh, specifically in terms of how we were governed and uh, yeah, the use of governance, uh, uh, the hierarchy and, and uh, so on. But also the use of uh, code of conduct, how we should behave in this community, um, and for, uh, specifically for, for project uh, development, uh, we had co coding guidelines and so forth. And of course, uh, another thing uh, about uh, the team community was uh, a website that supported uh, the community. We did a lot of events and activities to, to keep um, uh, sharing stuff and uh, giving ideas to, to each other and, and just to keep uh, the enthusiasm uh, going, basically. Um, that meant a lot for, for those who, who participated. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's a quick question, but you showed us a diagram uh, previously with you have your database in the middle and yeah. your API and all the client software can read from the database. Yeah. This API is just for reading only. Do you maintain the proprietary software in the, at the left side? To, in, to input data to the system still, or do you write new software which uses the API to update the database? Uh, that's a kind of a technical question. Uh, maybe not able to answer. Um, but in terms of uh, the, 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 the layer, the, the front end that's going to the end users, um, of course, that's something we, we do develop, like the websites. Um, what, was that uh, what you meant? Yeah, I'll, I'll more think about when you update the database, do you, do you update the data in the proprietary system and then once again import it to the central no. database? Um, so, so the API su supports it in, in data as well? Yeah, uh, the, how, how it's being done is that uh, of course, DBC, who is maintaining the, the data repository, repository is, uh, did uh, 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 collaborate with these content suppliers and, and all and the libraries as well in, in how they should uh, put these data in, into this uh, data repository. Um, so it was not something that would, would be done um, in the proprietary systems. No, it, it was data that would be uh, yeah, basically um, put in uh, that data repository uh, by, by DBC. So the API for updating the database is public and everyone can in fact write an application that does it? Yeah, basically yes. Uh, DBC has a whole website that's, um, that documents all these uh, uh, services and, and, and stuff like that. Yeah, so.